Hello everyone and welcome back to Weapon Ran. Today we've got Doom Breaker, which is a returner fantasy OPMC power fantasy type of webtoon. And I'll get into a quick premise and plot summary and then get into kind of the breakdown of what I think about this particular uh, webtoon. And well, let's get straight into it. So the main character is Zephyr, who is the last human, the last hero to stand against the forces of Tartarus, who is the god of destruction. The world has ended because Tartarus had brought apocalypse to the world. He's ended the world with his army of monsters. And although Zephyr and his friends and his friends and heroes, other heroes, tried their best to fight against Tartarus versus, they lost. And there was nothing he could do about it. However, the gods take pity on him. Even though they did nothing to help him, absolutely nothing. And they're pretty much not very good people or good entities for that matter, they don't really care about morals, uh, they thought the Zephyr struggle was interesting. It was entertaining for them. It was like, oh, my favorite Netflix TV show is getting discontinued. Let's, let's roll that back a little bit. So what they do is they send Zephyr back 10 years when he was just a slave boy, powerless with not the hero, not the last hero of humanity. So he goes back 10 years and he becomes a slave and he realizes that this is a prime opportunity to gather the greatest heroes of the earth in preparation of, of the fight, of the war against Tartarus and against Apocalypse. And this time he also has a head start, right? Because he's got a lot of experience. He was, after all, the last and greatest hero of the earth. So overall, it just really has some really great battle scenes. I'm just going to show you a couple. Like, like, look at this stuff. Like, it looks absolutely amazing like look at this it's it's like a background at this point right like these these images all of this this looks absolutely gorgeous i i honestly think that this this art style this fantastic fantasy art style is probably one of the best i've ever seen like if i want my book to become a webtoon uh there's like a pick there's a handful of webtoon artists that i would pretty much ask for and this is one of the people that i would absolutely cry and beg for for to be my webtoon artist because the art just looks absolutely amazing it looks modern it looks very non-real at the same time it feels so animated and i just find that absolutely amazing um enough about the action scenes uh let me talk a little bit about generally what i think about this so First off, I really do like the fantasy elements. Most power fantasy webtoons kind of decide to kind of throw the the actual like fantasy out of the window and they just kind of don't they just don't care about the fantasy part really. They're like, yeah, no, I mean sure it's a fantasy world. I don't care about world building or politics or anything like that. The main characters are strong. That's it, baby. It's great. And and they just use the the background and the backdrop the the world around them and the world building it's just like a, a secondary thing to kind of boost the main character and make them seem more powerful but actually in actuality um that makes the whole thing more bland right but in this particular webtoon that is completely void because the world building is quite good um the characterization is really good so we kind of get the sense that we're really in a fantasy world so the elements of fantasy are working well with the material rather than just being used as a trashy backdrop and overall it's also just a very well executed power fantasy because a lot of the time in these power fantasies we feel like the makers are just you know, dumb you know like it's just they're they're strong sure but they're not they're not smart they're not resourceful they're just they're just a dick with honestly a dick with a lot of strong powers however in this case it isn't because zephyr is actually although he is kind of he's kind of arrogant and he's very very smart and he's very very overpowered he kind of knows what he's doing right like we actually get the sense that this guy knows the future and he's acting accordingly he's very logical he's very smart very resourceful he knows how to improvise and take advantage of situations it's absolutely amazing and he's also very political as well and he kind of hides his real intentions and it's all very interesting to see and it makes the character just much more compelling than your bland i'm strong but dumb and kind of mean type of main character and i, I just really really like that uh as for the title so doom breaker i mean i get that they 
tried a very creative translation and i think this kind of works as well right because this is the last hero of humanity going back to the past to fight doom right to to drive away the impending doom like i get the word play here but but i actually really like the korean the original title better it's tushin tonsengi and it means tales of the past life of a god of the god of battle uh, or something among those lines. And actually, I like that title better because I feel like it's almost like a foreshadowing at the ending, right? Like, Zephyr, after all these battles, becomes the god of battles, the god of fighting. And he joins the gods at their pantheon or even overthrows the gods and basically kind of takes over the world, right? And becomes a benevolent god, unlike the gods before him. And I feel like the, the original title has that bit of nuance, that bit of foreshadowing for us readers to kind of think about. And that, that's what this new title is missing, although I do think this new title fits it well as well. Overall, depending on its ending and, you know, how it goes from here, right, because obviously it, it hasn't ended yet, it could end up either moving up into A tier or staying in B tier, because I think it's B tier right now, because Zephyr's characterization, although it's better than other flat OP main characters, it's still not as complex as I hope it would. And the world building, again, could be better, less expositionary. And yes, so basically, if it kind of goes on at this at this pace where it's really, really good, but it's not really the best it could be, it's going to stay in B tier. But if it does better and suddenly dramatically improves in terms of its characterization, its writing, and generally everything else, I would say that it can go easily into A tier or S tier because everything else is just so, so good. And that's about it, guys. That was your Webtoon Ram for today, Doom Breaker. I would recommend this because it's just an amazing read. Uh, but again, it isn't perfect, but it is still enjoyable, though. And like always, your plot quester, Aaron Lee. Have a great day, guys.